I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. The midterm elections are over. Well, I mean, not really. They're kind of done, but there's always those states that count their ballots like they they totally are smoked out and the old weed a man. All right, one for this dude. Oh, one for that dude. Oh, man, this dude's name is Richard Ball. <laughs> Dick Ball. Bro, I'm losing it. <laughs> So where are we now? Well, I couldn't tell you. I'm not sure if the Democrats are happy or the Republicans are happy. All I know is a lot of lying, Q-believing dingleberries lost last night. However, Marjorie Taylor Greene won because Georgia. She was up against Marcus Flowers. Now, Flowers served the United States Army from 1994 to 2003. His career experience includes working as a contractor and official with the State Department and the Department of Defense. So he is totally qualified and has all the experience. He's calm and he knows how government works. Why wouldn't Georgia vote for Marcus over this screaming three-toed red flag? All right. Instead, they decided to vote in this anti-democracy, pro-chaos moron. Also, Annie Oakley lost. That's right. Bobert is out. Who's Marge going to play Barbies with? <sighs> These two gentlemen here have to go to a runoff, even though Senator Warnock has a BA in philosophy and a PhD in theology. Yeah, you can call him Reverend Doctor. And Herschel Walker has CTE and frequent abortion miles. Yet, half of Georgia, the buckle of the Bible Belt, voted for the dumb guy with the Captain Crunch decoder ring who doesn't go to church. They voted for him over an actual preacher with a doctorate. Praise Jesus, Georgia. Half of you voted against Jesus and four dead babies. God bless you. You know, there was a time when we voted for the best person for the job. Maybe not all of us, but I remember my dad specifically making a decision between Reagan and Mondale. You know, he, he looked at what they thought and what their policies were, their qualifications were, and voted for the guy that did movies with a monkey repeatedly. Dad made a thoughtful decision, and we don't do that anymore. We vote party. You know, the last six years, we have suited up in red or blue jerseys and voted blindly for our side only. And not only is it stupid, it's dangerous. We'll roll the dice on a psycho to beat the other side. Person, woman, man, camera, TV. Which is really is just like hitting yourself in the face with a two by four. The good news is the Nazi slash crazy cream of the crop got blown out this midterm. The bad news is some snuck through because your side winning is more important than the country winning. And I'll be honest, if the Republicans had turned the economy after a once in a century pandemic, created 10 million jobs, 5.7% growth and got food back into the stores and then got us all back to some semblance of normal and did it in 22 months after the worst downturn in our lives. I'd vote Republican. I always vote what's best for all of us and what's going to help me and my family. And the crew that put us on track to a million dead, tripled the trade deficit, bankrupt farmers, voted down the minimum wage and made Christmas a German impressionist hellscape. That crew ain't it. You know, when you vote for people that hurt you, all right, that's your right. But democracy mixed with gullibility and stupidity creates anarchy and good luck with that i'm christopher titus and this is the armageddon update oh just vote who's best even i'd do that i'm not even gonna vote just because he's a democrat i'd be like hey that guy's better this democrat is on crack i'm not gonna vote for that